and welcome in everybody glad you're with us MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon it's the Tampa Bay Rays going up against the Colorado Rockies first pitch coming your way next all right just about set to go now the starting pitcher in this one Austin Gomber Chris how about a scouting report well there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate important that the defense stays engaged in the game I think it's critical the tempo is there if you work quickly it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged to make those plays and help you get through the innings that one fouled off Line drive. Blackman makes the catch, and there's one ball. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure. Jumps, but it's off his glove. Fires to first on the run, and he gets him. Nicely done. Two outs, base is empty. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. Warning track, wall, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A gigantic blast, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Another look at one of the most impressive home runs you'll ever see as StatCast gives us the full picture. Yeah, projected more than 480 feet on its way over the fence. And I don't think we could watch this replay enough, Boog. I mean, just incredible. That was a swing that we're not going to soon forget. Base is empty with two away. Isaac Paredes now. And first offering is fouled off. The lefty fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped right center field. It's got a chance. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. He was all over that one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can load one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Just missed. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. to count all he's seen is fastballs you've got to expect something off speed stay back
And it's second. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. And it drops in. Way at the plate. Yeah, on the Long throw for the third out. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Back here in Denver, and towing the slab in this one, Zach Littell. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Yeah, everything came together for him. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Check swing, and that's a ball. Counts one and oh. Blackman aboard here at first with nobody out. Down the left field line, looks like extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Now he launches a throw over his head. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now here's Nolan Jones. That That's one close. Ruled a ball. One and oh. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. That one laced to center and a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle, middle in there. That's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. No outs. Runners at first and third. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Two on, one out. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. First pitch misses. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. That's Just perfect. missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And 
Again, another ball. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. The hitters count. Elias Diaz to bat next. Real down. First and third, one down. Three and two down. And that's ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. That is yeah. off some really close yeah. pitches. And oh, somehow yeah. he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now it's Elias Diaz. And he swings and misses at the initial oh, offering. Kicks and deals. This to center field. Drops into the glove. Here comes the runner from third. Cut off. Now a home. Not in time. He's safe as they jump ahead and run scores. Well, it's a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first. Just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right That's there. Good. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Foul ball there. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two outs. Swing and high fly ball pretty well struck right field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. One run is in. Tag and he's out at the play. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. Three runs on four hits. No errors. And one left on. Second inning coming up here in Denver. It's the Rockies three. The Rays one. Second inning, set to go. And now the rookie the second baseman, inning. Curtis, Curtis Mead. Mead. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Right through there for a strike. Gomber goes six feet, five inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curve. And he works in a sinker. That one finds the zone. And that's strike two. Quickly down 0-2 on the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Hit hard on the ground is short. Tosses across the first. One out in the second. That is, that is the short shot. Jose Caballero. And stepping in is the speedy Jose Caballero. That's First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Oh, and that's, that's off inside. the inside edge. And it's 2-0. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding. Nice grab. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right, but in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Fall off foul. 
as the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of One all ball. four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. So they go quietly there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rockies three, the Rays one. Back here at Coors Field, bottom We're of the, the second. Bottom. And now here's El Lowry's Montero. Lowry. Montero. Here the right hander back to work. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Slapped foul. Deal two. That's a ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And now, Brenton Doyle. Right Aye. through there for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One down, base is empty. And one that ball. one missing low. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right, right there. Number Two number strikes, three. slider down and away number from three. the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Blackman nope. stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Two outs, base is empty. Pitch Ball misses, two, two and oh. Wouldn't chase three. that time. Three and oh. And that is in for a strike. Three and one. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Three. Next offering is in for a strike. Three balls, two strikes. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and scored it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Brendan Rodgers will hit next. One for one with a double and a run score. That's one. a little bit low. The 1-0. And a good eye ball, there. Ball, ball Looks three. like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Man on second, two down. That's ball three. Nolan Jones waits on deck. And a pitch. And it's in there. And now three balls and a strike. And ball four. 
with two yeah. aboard. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Up next for Colorado. No left field. Next for Colorado, Nolan Jones. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw from a warning track if he has to. Next pitch is outside. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. All right, grounder into the outfield for a nine. Around third, fires it to the plate. It's offline, the run comes in, and they lead by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So two down, here's Chris Bryant now. Went down on strikes his first time through. Yeah. Swings through that one for strike one. 0 and 1. And here it comes. In the air on the infield. Ramirez has it sized up. Makes the catch in and over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. On to the third inning. And now the catcher for the Rays, Rene Pinto. The pitch. And there's the strike. That clips the corner. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Pitch oh. misses there, and that is ball one. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Oh. Montero takes it to the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The designated hitter, Yandy Diaz. So the lineup flips over. Yandy Diaz now. He's over one. And the oh, first pitch misses for ball one. Ball and that's outside. That's a strike. There's a strike. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. One out, base is empty. Towards first. He handles it He's himself. Out. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The batter. The first base is Harold. Harold Ramirez at the dish. 0 for 1 so far. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Well, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes the play and it's out number three. As we go to the last of the third. So in the now for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. McMahon. The pitch. 
been a rough Eight. start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so all important for count. him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Next ball pitch one. misses. One and one. But all these Rockies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Righty delivers. Just That's missing there. And the count is two and two. two. So they two forced strike. the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Three. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And here's the catcher, oh, Elias oh, Diaz. The catcher. Drove in a run with a sack oh, fly yeah. his first time up. Diaz. Just nope, missed. Counts one and oh. Right Aye. through there for a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. outs, base is empty. Ezekiel Tovar, the next to hit. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Now this is in the air down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Top of the zone for a called strike. That's the third Paredes. Slings it across. It's a 1 2 3 inning for the Rockies. Nothing doing for the Rockies as they hold on to a 4 1 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Gomber back to work. That one called the strike. Going one. Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside this. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A massive home run. His second home run of the game, it's 4-2. Randy Rosarena could probably run the bases blindfolded with the amount of home runs he hits. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. Paredes oh, in now. now, takes ball one off the plate. The Rays trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. And there's a foul ball. Rosario digs in now. One for one with a single so far. Now a pop up on the infield. Montero should have this one. Snags it for the second out. 
Now back second base. Curtis. Two outs, bases empty. Mead. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Curtis Mead grounded out to short in his first trip. Swing and a pop-up under it. Brings it in for the third out. Rays with a solo shot to trim the lead. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the first baseman, Elauri's Montero. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. That Whoa. one misses. And one and one. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Phil Maton getting ready to go. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Here comes a pitch. That's off the mark. It's two and two. And the pitch. That one misses. And now it's three and two. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and fires. Out to short, Caballero. Throws the first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. The center field, number nine. Brenton. Doyle. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. Struck out swinging his first time. He swings and fouls one off. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, that's the effect of the splitter the that right you're looking right for on the mound. Right really nice pitch right there. Right Had him out in front over the top. Right. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else. Perhaps a fastball a little more straight and velo to it. What you got? Checks his swing. Appeal to third. And he went, says Larry Buller. Ground ball left side. Paredes fires over to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. The wide to kick the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Caballero goes five feet, nine inches, 185 pounds, and he was born in Panama. Now a drag bunt, third base side. They handle the bunt and get the out. Well, I'm pretty sure he took a look around the infield to see where they were playing before laying that one down. And everyone is playing back. You assume that's going to be a pretty easy knock, but he just couldn't put it down in the right spot to allow him to beat that out. Maybe the right idea, but he just couldn't pull it off. Sweet. 
Siri batting for the second time and that's strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70 percent. That's hey. well above league average and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Yeah, that's outside and the count one and two. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the lefty status. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on that knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. Grounded out his first time. And that one fouled off. In yeah, the count one and two. One ball, missed two badly strikes, with yeah. that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And now the lefty. Four, that's inside. There. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up and two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Snap throw to first. Siri dives back in safely. Hey. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. The Rockies leading by two, and we're at the top of the fifth. And a foul ball. Two outs. Way inside, gets out of the way. chase that time well this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat I'm sure there's sometimes where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter at the belt and fires chases the fastball up the ladder struck him out no runs one hit no errors and a man left home half of the fifth coming up it's the Rockies four the Rays two Back here in Denver, bottom of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. 
as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm ball delivers. One, no ball one there. Headed down the line. A Rosarena on his horse. Can't get there. This one lands foul. The 1-1. One, one. Ball two. Foul ball. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Three and hit. another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right-hander kicks, deals. High fly ball out into left center field. The Rosarena moving under it. He's there. He's got it. One down. Up next to Colorado. No left. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Zach Littell won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. On the mound now, Phil Maton, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. Next for Colorado, Nolan Jones. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. That's in there. Strike one. Oh, and one. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Oh, and two now. That's down and in. Two strikes. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side, and he grabs it. Foul. And a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Left hand hitter waits. And that one hammered. Siri going back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Chris Bryant getting ready to hit. Not even close there. Ball one. That one hit to right. Rosario sizing this one up and makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Five innings complete. It's the Rockies four, the Rays two. Top of the sixth inning. Now the number two hitter, Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez. As the lefty gets to work. Line drive, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice line drive to the whole side. Bent it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. Oh, these guys definitely bat. looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. This one in the air. McMahon under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Up next for Tampa Bay. The third base. Isak. And now, Isak Paredes. One for two. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the end. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Rockies four, the Rays two. Well, we go bottom six. Now here is Ryan McMahon. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And ball, ball one. Stud. When you look ball at players one, like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Got, got him on the off-balance throw. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. First of all, that's just a nice job to even oh, get yeah, to that yeah. ball. And then even yeah. more impressive was the throw. Off-balance, had to try to in the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Into the outfield base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Waste no time there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now about it. Man at first with one gone. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. And nope. takes low for ball one. Now one and zero. Oh. Breaking hey. ball through there for a strike. And yeah, the right hander deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Right-handed reliever. Got him swinging on the curveball. Two out. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. And here's the first baseman, Elauri's Montero. Right through there for a strike. And that one clips the corner. 
And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And the righty deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number three. So one hit is all they get. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rockies four, the Rays two. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Ahmed Rosario. Gomber back to work. That Eight. one finds the zone. Strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jake Bird, the young right hander, up and throwing. Beaks, a left hander, also throwing. The lefty fires. Line, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now back. Second base. Third base. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Austin Gomber is done, just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on, back in a moment. So a young arm coming on now out of the pen, Victor Vodnik. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Here's the second baseman, Curtis Mead. And fouled off. With the tying run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Yeah, oh. that's too high. The tying run at the plate. That one misses. And yeah, that's ball two. They try to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Got him. One gone here. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Rosario on the move. Oh, Pitch misses. The throw. Oh. Tag. And he's out. Very questionable steal attempt right there. You're down by two runs. Tying runs at the plate. Your run is so important. You have to be smarter than that. It can't be playing around in this situation. Trust the guy at the plate with one swing to tie it up. That right there could be very costly. in there that's strike one well, this guy's definitely a plus runner but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time never takes a break it's guys like that even though they don't have the elite speed the fact that they're consistent with it they make moves on the base oh, paths inside. and that's off the inside edge and it's two and one swing and a high fly ball down the left field line but hooking foul
three. He goes down looking. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Chris Davinsky. This is his third time out this year. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And here it comes. That one ripped. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Just a really nice job of running on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. There's Chuck Nasty. That's a strike. It's 0-1. Bounce to the left side. Gathers and throws to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Good fade and sinking action in that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brendan Rodgers. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. And he's in full speed. Action in the pen down there. Sean Armstrong warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Check on the runner. Doyle he's back on a dive. The pitch. No break. That to right. Rosario in position. Makes the catch for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Now got left field. No way. No way. So in now for Colorado, Nolan Jones. That one's in there. One one. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Man at second. In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. The Rockies strand one as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jake Bird. This is his fifth appearance of the year. And now it's Jose Siri. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a pitch. Just missed. Movement in the bullpen. Justin Lawrence getting ready to come on for Bud Black. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two.
just okay. misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three. Struck him out without a swing. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. That was a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen was following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And a foul ball. And he deals. That one fouled off. The Rockies trying to protect a two run lead. And we're in the top of the eighth. This one high in the air to left center. Jones makes the catch. Two down. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Burr, 28 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2018. Fastball hey. for a strike, going along. That one, one missing one inside. Two down, nobody on. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa. They trail it here, four to two. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Chris Bryant. The designated hitter. Chris. Bryant. The right-hander back to work. Now the outside corner, strike one. All ones count. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Slider got him for strike three. Ryan McMahon the steps to the plate. Ryan McMahon. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Base is empty one away here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Pitch oh, misses. Cool. Going to count one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And oh, now man. two and two. One down, base is empty. Right side, Ramirez. Steps on first for the out. Up next to Colorado. The catcher. The catcher. Elias. Elias. Diaz. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. That's a laser base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Tobar in the box now. No oh, balls and a strike.
kicks and deals. That oh. one off the mark, and that's ball one. Diaz off the first with two away. Next no, offering down. is down low. It's a good take. Three. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. So one left for Colorado. But they still lead this one four to two. Justin Lawrence a chance at his first save of the year and here is Harold Ramirez one for three the pitch just missed all one no play here comes a pitch Bounce to the right. Montero. Tosses to the oh. pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. A couple of up pitches and a quick out. The, the left field. Randy Arozarena. He's two outs away. Now, Randy Arozarena. That Ball. one inside. Ball one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. One down, base is empty. Strike one. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. We're talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. And a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Throw to first. A Rosarena back easily. Digging in, Isaac Paredes. Sharp grounder, that's through for base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. The white Off the bat, that one ten. registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can try to run like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. So digging in, Ahmed Rosario. There's the strike of the knees. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. So the tying run at second. Pitch misses there. One ball, one strike. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. And no one can run it down. One runs in. And it will play. Will cut off to third. Save. Oh, he beats it. That's a big time clutch that. performance. Boy. Top of the ninth. Your team needs you to come through. And you deliver a game tying RBI base hit. Now let's see if they can build on that and get the lead. Put the pressure on the other side heading into the bottom of the ninth. On a pitch out of the pen here. He's making his second appearance of the season.
Curtis Mead next to him for the Rays. That misses the zone, and it's 1 0. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. That one's in there, and the count even 1 and 1. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Rosario stands at third with one gone in the inning. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. And now the shortstop, Jose Caballero. Corner infielders playing in. That missed inside, and that is ball one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Tyler Kinley getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Quattrill getting loose as well. And the 1-0. Runners on the move. Squeeze attempt misses. Now they tag him for the out. And wow, either someone missed the sign completely or he just tried to steal home. Tied at four. And that's outside. Two and one. Catches the corner for a strike. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position here at the top of the ninth. And the swing and a miss. They limit the damage here. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Sean Armstrong. So in now for Colorado, Elauri's Montero. Over for three with two strikeouts and a ground out. Montero. The pitch. And there's a ball. Activity in the bullpen. Pete Fairbanks warming up for manager Kevin Cash. That misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Bounce to third. Paredes. Zips it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over. Got the ground ball. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. 4-4 four, four in the ninth. Off of the mark there. One and one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. And the Rockies walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat. 
Nice win for the team. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.